Hey guys, so 77 Mac here, and I'm going to show you a video on how to install the simple native trainer for Grand Theft Auto 4 um, for the PC. This does, as far as I know, this does not work for the PS3 and or Xbox 360, and a download link will be um, in the description below. Now, um, alright. Sorry, uh, if you heard that noise, it's just that my microphone is dying, so I gotta fix that. Hold on. Anyway, um, this is for Steam, so if you don't have Steam, then um, I'll show you how later, but this is for Steam, because every single video tutorial that I've seen, I mean, it's not that hard to figure out, like, what it is, but... seems as though it's kind of annoying that nothing is for Steam other than, like, actually no videos have it at all. So I thought that was kind of annoying, and so I said, hey, what about people who have Steam? So here's how you do it. So what you're going to want to do is when you download it, it's going to be in this thing via Firefox. And you're going to need two things. You're going to need this, and you're going to need yasl.zip. Now, um, I'll show you where to get both of those. They'll be in the description. So, yeah. Um, first, you're going to open the trainer. Now, you're going to see all of this stuff, all of this derpy derp. Now, what you're going to want to do with it is you, um, so, what you're going to want to do is just put that aside for a minute. Now, go to your, um, start menu here, and, uh, as you can see here, just pull up your, uh, Windows menu, which is all that computer control panel, then click computer. Now, once you see these, for yours, it'll probably be in local disk C and then in program file Steam. Wherever you put your Steam file, just go to it. Now, mine is in new volume E, which is my second hard drive. It's not always going to be in there, just saying. Um, so, yeah. Now, uh, sorry, it's got a pin. Uh, now, what you're going to want to do is once you get into Steam, um, you're going to go to Steam Apps, you're going to go to Common, and you're going to see, um, it says Grand Theft Auto 4, Episodes from Liberty, uh, and if you have Episodes from Liberty City there. If you, d if you just have the DLCs, it's, on it's only going to see this, but if you bought Episodes from Liberty City, then it's also going to be here. Um, now, once you go here, just, um, just click into this and click into that, then you'll see all this but Now, pull up that folder from before, the trainer. And see the script hook that DLL application extension, not the file, the application extension. Now put it in. Come over here. You want the trainer.asi file in there, the trainer.ini file in there, the trainer, um, and then that should be it. You don't need the um, the ogt.asi or the Blah, you just need those two files, I think. Yeah. And then it should work. And, um, then what you need is, you have to go here, go to your downloads, go to yasl.zip, you're going to see these two. Only put in the dsound.dll. Zip it in there. And then, what you're going to want to do is go to Steam. Um, Grand Theft Auto 4. And open it. Let's just play. Um, it's not working for some reason. As does it sometimes, sorry guys. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so, so, one thing that's basically what you do, then once you're into the Grand Theft Auto itself, you're going to want to press, um, like when it loads, um, on basis, basically what you're going to want to do is you want to press F3 or F4, and you're going to see a little menu pop up that says options menu derp derp derp. Now, once you get that, that means that you basically got it, and it is working for you. 
So, um, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, and peace out, guys.